Hi guys, in this video we'll be asking what is the structure of DNA, what is non-coding DNA and finally a summary. We've talked about DNA in the video Introduction to DNA, but did you know that the function of DNA is actually really closely tied to its structure? But what is the structure of DNA? Well, firstly, DNA is a chemical molecule. DNA is also a polymer and it's made up of two strands coiled to form a double helix. So you can see in this diagram that there are two strands of DNA and these strands twist together to form the double helix shown here. So what did I mean when I said DNA was a polymer? Well, a polymer just means it's formed of lots of little bits and DNA is a polymer as it's formed of smaller parts called nucleotides. And I'll go through what this is in this video. So let's talk about the structure of DNA a little bit more. So the strands we saw before that form a double helix are linked by a series of complementary base pairs. And what I mean by complementary is that the bases fit or are attached together as a pair. And these bases can either be A, C, T or G. So I've said before, they come in pairs. And the rule is that A always pairs with T and C always pairs with G. This is really, really important, as if this doesn't happen, DNA could be carrying the wrong information. What's also really important is the order of bases, and this is because the order of bases determines the sequence of amino acids in a protein. So you can see in this diagram that these bases are joined together, and these bases are joined by something called weak hydrogen bonds. So A is paired to T, and that means there's a hydrogen bond between them. C is paired to G, and that means there's also a hydrogen bond between them, and that helps them fit together. This is because hydrogen bonds are forces of attraction, and that helps attract the two different complementary base pairs. So I mentioned before that DNA is a polymer, as it's made up of lots of different nucleotides. But what are nucleotides? Well, nucleotides consist of a sugar, which is represented by this pentagon here. A nucleotide is also made up of a phosphate group, shown by this circle here. It also has one of the four different bases, so either A, C, T or G, attached to the sugar. And this is one of the bases here. An important thing to remember is that each nucleotide has a different base attached to the sugar. So this nucleotide could either be A, C, T or G. DNA also has a sugar phosphate backbone. And that's this thing here. And that helps provide structure to DNA. So, so far we've talked about coding DNA. And that's a bit that has genes on it. But what's non-coding DNA? Well, not all parts of DNA code for proteins. DNA also has non-coding regions. And the purpose of these non-coding regions of DNA is that it can switch genes on or off. This is really important as it affects which proteins are made and therefore which genes are expressed. And this is crucial as you don't need to express all your genes simultaneously all the time. This means that switching genes on or off can help make an organism more efficient. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.